Well, our reporter in Afghanistan, Fiona Weir, joins us now. Fiona, what has ISAF been saying today? Well, as you heard in Charlotte's report, ISAF is aware of these statistics. I spoke with a representative today who said that while every death is tragic, the reason for the increase is because there are more Afghan security forces on the ground now than there ever have been before. And he was also keen to stress that increasingly they're taking the lead in operations now, not ISAF. And are there any other factors that may account for these figures? Well, we always need to be careful when quoting statistics and what these figures don't actually tell us is where these fatalities took place. But what we do know is that in June there were 3,000 operations and that's an 11% increase on last year. You said that Afghan forces are increasingly taking the lead. Tell us about the evidence you've seen of transition at one of Hellman's numerous checkpoints. Well, since I arrived here in Afghanistan, I've been working closely with three rifles who form the Brigade Advisory Group. And I've seen for myself the difference that their mentoring is making. I travelled to PB Folad, which is now home to three times as many British soldiers as it was just a couple of weeks ago. Patrol Base Folad is a hive of activity as members of three rifles work to expand the space within the old Afghan compound. We, um, we are really in the sort of the middle of the transition period where Afghan security forces are taking over the area to our south inside the canal zone, the mainly populated areas. And as there's less need for us to live amongst the people to protect them, we're moving more into the, into the outskirts to provide a barrier to allow the Afghan forces to take the lead. The base is situated next to the Nyberger Canal on the northern edge of the Nad Ali region. And since C Company arrived in April, they have handed over more than half of their area of responsibility to the Afghan lead. The insurgents were pushed out of the canal zone, out of the town of Nadali last summer um, by the Royal Marines and we are really continuing to push them away from the people so they have less and less influence. Uh, this is an area that they still feel that they have the right to, to look after and that's where the contest is at the moment. Local Afghans are frequent visitors to the base where they can meet with the military stabilisation support team representative. Yeah, they're coming for any manner of reasons really, mostly claims. ISAF have uh, maybe been a firefight somewhere and uh, we've killed an animal or we've damaged the compound or something. So that's predominantly it, but other times they're just coming to talk. Uh, my job is to really find out about the local people, understand the tribal dynamics, who the key leaders are, engage with them, find out what they need from the government and make sure they know the government's there for them. There are definite signs of change within the area and the PB has been expanded to allow the ISAF forces to continue to support the people in the local area during this period of transition. Thanks to the help of the Royal Engineers, the base now has a new extension, housing a vehicle park from which regular patrols leave, extended accommodation areas and a new medical centre. And it's hoped that by the end of this week, the camp will be fully established and capable of comfortably housing a company-sized group of soldiers. Fiona Weir, Forces News, Nadali North, Afghanistan.